Peace and love, family. It's your boy Sunrise the Divine. Back at you again with some more love and light. Today on this video, it's going to be a follow-up video from the last video I put on my YouTube. Um, I put on my YouTube, when you feel like doing nothing, do something. Check that out. Today is like a contradictory video <clears throat> or a polarizing video because it's at the other end of this spectrum with that same philosophy. So today we're talking about Sometimes you have to do nothing. Sometimes you have to do nothing. Sometimes when you're doing too much and you're shuffling around and you're just looking for things to do, you're actually setting yourself back. So sometimes it's best that you do nothing. And I got a clip that I'm going to show y'all in this video in a couple of minutes or seconds. But before I show y'all the clip, I just want to dive deeper on this philosophy. So a lot of the times and i'll make it personal a lot of the times we have these goals and then we set out actions in order to complete these goals or to come work our way up to whatever we're manifesting right and sometimes that comes a lot with a lot of mental pressure a lot of thought a lot of just energy sometimes it could be anxiety energy anxious energy and sometimes you could overwork yourself or you could just there's a such thing as being busy but not being effective you feel me sometimes you could just be busy and not effective and so sometimes when you're manifesting you have to actually release all control and sometimes you have to literally do nothing now this clip is from a spongebob episode they're stuck in the jungle and spongebob and patrick are listening to this shell that they call the conch shell i think the metaphysical meaning of that is just like your consciousness and they ask the conch shell what do we need to do to get out of this jungle and the conch shell you know tells them what they need to do and matter of fact i'm gonna just show the clip right now cue the clip Up always takes its advice before we do anything oh magic conch shell what do we need to do to get out of the kelp forest? Nothing. The shell has spoken! Nothing. We can't just sit here and do nothing. I am gonna find my way back to sanity. But don't you two sad clowns come crying to me when your circus tent comes crashing down. Sad clown. <laughs> I'm free! <laughs> Take that, SpongeBob and Patrick! <laughs> Dude! We're falling right out of the sky! We gotta drop the wall! Okay, so if you've seen the clip, you notice that Squidward wasn't accepting when the conch shell told them to do nothing. The conch shell told them to do nothing. Squidward was like, no, I'm going to figure out a way. We're going we gonna to make it work. We're going to get up out of here, which not necessarily is the wrong thing, the wrong mentality to have. It's not wrong. But their conch shell, a.k.a. their consciousness, was telling them to relax. And so what did you see Squidward do? Squidward ran and did all this work in the first part of the scene, and then he ended up in the exact same place where Patrick and SpongeBob was. The only difference was he exerted all that energy and they did nothing. And then the universe worked out in their favor. And, of course, it's a cartoon, but the food ended up getting dropped from the plane right into their lap. And so they basically did nothing and received their blessing. It was all in alignment. They understood and they had faith in that voice. Squidward didn't have faith. And if you watch that, that full episode, or if you remember it, 
you'll see that you know they didn't even let end up squigger let in letting squigger eat because they was like you didn't stay faithful bro you didn't listen to the con show you even shunned it so we're not giving you no food and so it's just i think this clip is is so pivotal because it says so much in so many different ways but it's it goes hand in hand with what i'm talking about with sometimes you have to do nothing sometimes you have to sit back take a day off forget all your responsibilities and just allow your mind to decompress reset you know let go of those things that's worrying you it's just it's 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 and and, and when you get into that frequency you notice things start to open up and start to just flow to you the same way that food flow to them so today's you know messages sometimes you have to take that time to do nothing and just hit a quick reset man we're gonna keep growing like and share for more videos share with somebody if you if you felt like this served you or if you felt like they need to hear it thank you for checking in we got more videos on the way see you soon